Guys, this is James here from eBass Guitar. If you're struggling with how to play fills on the bass guitar or how to improvise bass lines, do check this lesson out. There's some great stuff coming on and check it out right to the end. Guys, I'm here to show you about a method of how to play bass fills and how to actually start improvising on the instrument. So many of my students have said to me over the years that they feel stuck, that they're playing root notes, they're chugging along and it's all kind of good, but they just don't know where to start, um, how to break out of that mold. There seem to be so many choices and how to just um, sort of get them into a formula which works basically. So I'm here to teach you um, a concept called the two note transition. So it's how to transition from one chord to the next just using two notes. Um, I've got a very simple chord sequence that I've made a backing track here for. Uh, it's loosely based on um, Mr. Brightside by the Killers, so the chords um, of that are the chorus which is D to an A to a B minor, to uh, uh, an A. So chord one, chord four, chord six, and chord five in the key of D. Now the backing track I've made here is a little bit slower, so it's actually ended up as I guess more of a country kind of vibe. But if you want to go and put this into practical application, play it for a real song, please just go and grab that out. These ideas came um, from playing this song, I've played it a huge amount of times over the years uh, on gigs, and looking at some of the ideas and how I start to break out of things and put more interest and more kind of guest flavour into the bass lines. So we're going to talk uh, about the two note transition. Um, so this is all about using two notes to go to the next chord, as I guess the name sort of implies. So what we are doing is we're playing a straight rock groove here. So we're going to play, we're going to be chugging on eighth notes. So we're going to go one, two, one and two and three and four. And now in each bar, we have um, eight of these notes, hence why they're called eighth notes. And to do the transition, the two note transition concept, um, use notes seven and eight. So one and two and three and four and one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Okay. And so the idea, I'm gonna just play, actually, I'm just gonna play this first of all with the backing track so that you can hear how this goes. Um, just so you know what chugging on eighth notes sounds like here. Okay. One, two, three. Notes seven and eight. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on that goes. So we're using notes seven and eight, or notes one and two and three, four and to get there. So the first idea I'm gonna do to do this idea, the idea I'm going to show you today, you don't actually even need to ha really have any harmonic knowledge, okay? So you don't need to worry about whether you're playing thirds or fifths, whether it's minor or major. We're going to use a chromatic idea to do this first of all. And I guess this comes with a little bit of disclaimer that you need to work out where this sounds best because sometimes it does clash a little bit and I'll, I'll actually demonstrate that to you too. So we're going to go from chord one and to chord four. Now to get there, we're going to use two chromatic ascending notes. And if you remember the term chromatic, it's all about using half steps, or if we're in the UK, semitones. So if we're gonna use two chromatic um, ascending notes, we're gonna go one, two, three, and four, and one, okay? So on beat one of the next bar, we land on the tonic or the root of the next chord, okay? So it goes a little bit like this. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, okay? So that is a seven, seven eight, tran <laughs> two note transition um, there. So 
Um, I'm going to show you how this works on all the other chords. It's exactly the same principle here. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. So we can do this on all four of the chords. So um, I'm going to go from the D up to chord four, which is the G. Okay, up to the B minor, landing there, and to chord five, which is the A. And then back to the root, okay, chord one. Okay, make sense? So I'm gonna put this um, in context now. I'm just gonna play it first by myself and then I'm gonna put the backing track back on and you can try this. Incidentally, you can grab the backing track to this if you go to the notes below there and you can download that. Um, please, if you've enjoyed this lesson, please do leave a comment below. Please do like and share. Um, anyway, let's get back to the lesson. So let's try this idea. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, with the backing track now. One. Okay, so that's the first idea that. So that is the two note transition using chromatic um, ascending notes. So from from coming from below, we can do it the other way, um, which sounds really cool going from above. Okay, so we're gonna go, let me show you how this works. So we're going one to chord four. So we're gonna go one and two and three and four and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Okay, and then we can do that, the same idea. And I, it really, for some reason, doesn't work so well on the B minor there, okay? Um, but it works great here. Two, three, and, and brilliantly there. So there's one where it doesn't work so well. Um, so I'm gonna play this now, this idea. So coming from above, okay? So coming from two chromatics above to land on the next um, keynote of the chord. Um, I'll try and play it with the one which doesn't sound so good and you can hear what I mean, so. Okay, you see what I mean? That sounds great. It's hit equally good. Awful. So you can hear what that sounds. So now in this lesson, we've covered going from below using two notes below, and then we're gonna do two notes above. Now, the great thing is, once we got comfortable with that, um, I would suggest practicing each one, one by one, okay? Then you can start mixing them up and matching it. And um, so it sounds, I guess, less like an exercise. <laughs> so let me show you what this sounds like. Um, and you can essentially pick the ones, I guess, which sound stronger. Uh, so let's try it. Uh, uh. There you go. From below, from from above, from above. Okay, there I started breaking out a little bit towards the end there. Um, so 
In today's lesson, we have covered a two note transition. So that is using on a straight rock groove where we're playing eighth notes. That's using notes seven and eight or bar beats four, uh, four and four and of the bar to transition from one notes. So we talked about using two notes. And in this case, we talked about chromatics. So, um, so coming from chromatically from a tone or a whole step below. Okay, and we talked about doing it from a whole step above. So, and then we've talked about mixing them together. And so we can get a great bass line, which sounds, which doesn't sound like we're playing an exercise essentially. Um, and yeah, that is it for today. So that's been the two note transition. Uh, I've been James from EE Bass Guitar. Please do like on share. There's normally an Elton the Cat sitting under there. So if you look at any, um, uh, future videos, I'm sure you might find a cat there. He's had his dinner now. So um, anyway, I've been James from E Bass Guitar. Please do give us a like and share on social. If you've got any questions, please do comment below. Cheers, James from E Bass Guitar.